What's going on everybody? So, really just a mail week um, in this video. Not a whole lot. I was going to show you guys what I was sending off to Com C. Got a little sidetracked and I packaged it up a little bit too quickly there. But we will be getting some PSA ready. I'll show you guys that stuff in the future. Uh, weekly like vlog style video. Um, it's only a few cards that's going to go out this time to them. Um, uh, I know a lot of people started hitting me up about the Express PSAs with the graders notes. I think eventually they're going to go the whole way with all the cards, but till you incorporate something, it takes a little while. But all right, so this is it. Just the middle week. No card shows this week. Uh, next weekend, which is the Saturday after 4th of July, I'll be in Louisville set up. So if you're around, stop by, say hello. I'll have a ton of stuff. Been had to rework uh, all my Com C pricing and stuff like that, which was a long day there because uh, you get a lot of times you know prices fluctuate whether people undercut me or just a card itself you know the value is shifted left or right. Well, mostly to the left because if it went right, it would have been sold. Uh, let's see here. Uh, start putting stuff back up on the eBay store so you guys can always see stuff on there too if you're not on the Com C. But just a bunch of stuff. The idea is to move a lot of this stuff and then start back into what I was doing before. And just going back into still picking up good deals. Don't get me wrong and selling them. But picking a lot of stuff up and just putting it away to where it never will be seen again. Alright, so up first, these came in a win that I had online. Uh, first up, LeBron Tops Rookie. Judging it, these came like this in the... Uh, card savers i'm probably gonna grade this because i think it has a shot at an eight and an eight's like 200 bucks so we'll give it a shot uh kobe definitely not going because sevens and eights just are nowhere near what i would do i think they're doing like 40 dollars for a seven maybe it was an eight one of the two were 40 dollars it was low picked this up from one of the guys that uh watch the channel and i've known for a while james knew me as when i was a breaker uh, Keontae George, purple, prism, hyper, something. But it is numbered out of 35, so I'm going to give it a shot and try to grade this. The centering looked really, really good. So this is one of the ones we pay stronger on to, and you got to hope that, uh, you know, it tends type deal. But there's a lot of people like uh, Keontae George. I haven't heard of him, not going to lie. All right, this came in the mail from Top. It's my Holland Bronze Idol. Really, really happy with this here. Now I can finally put it in team bag, and it's getting put up. I thought about grading it, but I just don't know yet. Uh, once I see some that get graded, I'd, I'm a bit, feel a little bit better when I send stuff in. Because if you guys notice, like the Kabooms from basketball this year, I don't think I've seen any of the 10 yet. I think there's something with the centering we were talking about last night where nothing's coming back higher than eights. All right, we got a little bit of Paul Skeens. This is the Bowman Chrome um, SP insert of him. Mr. Skeens is dominating right now with them strikeouts to the Pirates. Probably the hottest thing they've had since Barry Bonds. I don't know. Don't anybody say uh, Zach Duke. All right, uh, I guess it's like the old Bowman TV thing of Ro Julio Rodriguez. Then finally, stick with the Pirates, McClutchin. The catch. Sterling, rookie. I was trying to see if I thought it was numbered. Maybe it's on the back. Let me look real quick because the glare's getting me. I guess they weren't numbered. Oh, I thought they were numbered. But pretty cool piece. You got single jersey action, autograph. It is stickers. You guys can kind of tell. There it is. You can see like where it says certified. But those were my only pickups. Um, you'll see some of the stuff that I purchased on Com C for this past month. It's only four items. Had to count them. With that, you know I'm not doing any shipping yet. So you guys will see in the Com C video what I picked up. And then eventually whenever they come in the mail and I probably get at least another four or five cards, we'll get them expressed out to us. No rush on to them right now. There's nothing It's like, oh my gosh, dire need, I got to have in my hands. Even though one's a Crosby, I don't, I'd really want that in my hand. But uh, 
a lot of people get, started seeing me selling Sidney Crosby autos. So I've marked myself at 40. <laughs> so every time I buy one that I like, I have to replace one in there because otherwise I'm hoarding. It's just one of my things, you know. I could end up having, you know, 200 Sidney Crosby autos probably within the next three years. And, yeah, just way too many. So, I counted them what I had originally. And, no kidding, it went to 40. And so far this year, I've purchased six that I've replaced some other ones with. So, yeah, you will see me selling a Sidney Crosby auto here and there. But, that is it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, nothing crazy. I did uh, take some um, crumble cookies to the post office. I was going to tape it, then I'm like, eh, better not type deal. But, you know, just for the thank, uh, I'm just very thankful. They do a lot of work on Fort Knox post office for me. Every time it's uh, stalled, they look it up, they, they track it, they send emails out to postmasters, supervisors, get stuff unstuck for me. Uh, a lot of behind the stuff scenes that you guys don't ever really hear me talk about because I'm always tracking packages like, hey, this hasn't moved in like four days. And it's just not even the stuff that's inbound to me. We're talking about outbound stuff. But yeah, it was pretty much the week other than um, doing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, my mom's house went under contract and stuff. So been playing with all that stuff this week too. So hopefully, uh, like I said, after the Midwest Monster, the rest of June was going to be a little bit rougher with videos um, and time with cards. So... Hopefully, uh, when we hit beginning of July, everything's back to being normal again. Better than that, guys. Take care. Have a good one. See you next one.